It's amazing how much history is in this building. This is cool. It's hard to walk five feet without stopping and talking about something. How about this bad boy? The Great Garlou. Yeah. Is the uh, battery control unit with him? Oh, yeah. In 1961, every kid in America wanted the Great Garlou. This toy is pretty epic. I came in at the whole end of that trend, you right. know, with, with like the monster models. I mean, I remember guys that were older having this stuff, but right. you know, I was way too little. Garlou the Mighty, Garlou the Terrible. Who can stop it? Who can control this monstrous creature? You can, kids. Back in 1961, this toy was 17 bucks. It was battery operated. He was almost two feet tall. He could move around the floor, backwards, forwards. He could bend over. He could pick things up. Have you ever tried to make it work? No, no. See, this is holding it together. Oh, his body's separated. The right. string's see, holding them together. See, like, yeah. This one. Oh, OK, I see, see what you're saying. Like, OK, there's a break right there. Right. This one's not in great shape. He snapped in half. And it's probably not repairable, but for a shelf piece, this is brilliant. I've the seen batteries. these things. If they're if they're decent, you know, they're bringing you know three four hundred bucks. Yeah, no, I was going to tell you a hundred. Yeah, it is. I think it would look really cool by itself, like just displayed somewhere, anywhere. Oh yeah. All right, I'm digging it. Hundred bucks, I'll okay, do it. Thanks. Okay. Very cool. This was the Cold War era, science fiction, space age. I mean, if your parent couldn't afford one of these for seventeen bucks back in the day, you can buy this one now for two hundred. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.